Greeting dear HMC friends. As always, it's lovely to be with you. And I pray that today you would know the presence of Jesus that is with you. Over the years, I have done many things with thread. I have taught people how to embroider using different techniques with thread. As a sewer, thread is a vital part of any garment or quilt. And there are millions of doctors and surgeons who skillfully move a needle with different types of thread as they stitch people back together again. And when I teach people, it always starts off with the knot. How do you make a successful knot? There are all sorts of little methods that people have. But of course, then there are the purists who say, you cannot knot. You sew it in neatly so no one else can see. But that thread is what may hold veins together, may attach a new organ like a transplanted heart, or would hold the pieces of clothes that we wear. Thread is vitally important. And so we have sayings where we sometimes say, I'm hanging on by just a thread. And I know some of those feelings at times. But it just feels like we've just been hanging on by a thread. Particularly in ministry as we stand alongside people. And we share with them some of their pain and their grief. But there is a thread that holds us together. And I want to read the beautiful poem by William Stafford. There's a thread you follow, but it goes among the things that change. But it doesn't change. People wonder about what you are pursuing. You have to explain about the thread, but it's hard for others to see. While you hold it, you can't get lost. Tragedies happen, people get hurt, die, you suffer or get old. Nothing you do can stop times unfolding, but you don't ever let go of the thread. And that was such a beautiful illustration to me of how the threads hold us together. And for us as Christ followers, that would be our belief in God through our Saviour Jesus Christ. That just like that skillful surgeon stitches together, while well, clothes are stitched together. We are held together by the greater stitcher. God, who through Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, the one who suffered at Gethsemane, the one who went to the cross and rose again, that is a thread that holds us. And so whatever we may be facing, and whether we're just hanging on by a thread, know that the thread holds us together. Our thread being Jesus Christ, in whom today we find life and hope and purpose and strength. And so may God bless you as you hold on to your thread. Take care.